Managing data using forms is probably more important than managing data using tables because our expectation is that the users will interact with the forms. Let's grab one of the forms in the Northwind database. I'm going to double click customers for example. Now moving around records and moving around fields. First of all to move between fields traditionally tab moves forward and shift tab moves backwards but you can use arrow keys and use your mouse and stuff like that but your data entry people will probably want really fast um, standardized methods like tab for forward and shift tab for backwards now when you do tab and you suddenly see that that field content is highlighted in the case of this it's company name if you want to edit what's in that field you press F2 and that allows you to edit what's in that field and escape will just take me nowhere I just tab to the next field so editing is F2 now moving between records you have got the option to use the navigation buttons at the bottom here so you can go the next record and the next record and the last record and you can also go the first record and you can also go to a specific record simply by typing a number in here and you can go the previous record so you have got those options but you've also got the options to go page down and page up let me just move back into the form. Page down will move me down. Page up will move me up as well. So for those who are into keyboard and keys who are data entry people, they'll want page up and page down to move them between records. To go the first record is control home and to go the last record is control end. So those are the sorts of moving between your fields and moving between your records using your keys. Now sometimes the keys are customised and, and you need to be aware of that as well. If we go into File and into Options and into Client Settings, you can actually change the behaviour of the Enter key. At the moment when we press Enter it moves to the next field. But some people may say don't move or when they press Enter it moves to the next record. You can also um, control the behavior that when you do press enter it selects the entire field or it goes to the start or goes to the end which would save you having to press F2 to edit. The arrow keys behavior when you press the arrow key it also goes to the next field but you can make it that its behavior is to move to the next character. Um, so there's various settings that you can also ch change under client settings which becomes the behavior for that particular machine and that person. Um, that person's login, not that database, otherwise it'd be under current database. Um, so be aware of those as well. As far as actually um, perhaps inserting a new record, you've got an option here. This is a new blank record. Or if you go to the home tab, you've also got the new button here, which allows you to add a new record as well. And the shortcut key is control plus. As far as deleting a record, you have got the option here to delete um, a record or just delete what's in a field. But that's how you delete an entire record. This particular form doesn't have a record selector, um, which is usually what runs down the left hand side. Let me just see if I can find another one that does. They may not have record selectors in them. I don't suspect they do. There will be in the ones we've made. Let me just go into FRM customer details, which we made. There's the record selector there. So when you click that black bar there, that's called record selector, and you go delete, it'll know to delete the entire record. Um, but on these ones that come with Northwind, they've taken the record selector off. Once you make a change to a record, as soon as you move to a different record, your changes will automatically be saved. But if you want to save, because it's a, a lot of data you have to enter, you hit this one here to save a record, or shift enter is how you save a record if you're only partially through it and you have to leave. Um, and you don't want to move to another record, save your record using the save button here. You do have an undo button it's up here in the quick access toolbar so you can typically undo most things not all things in access um, so you can try the undo if you want to undo a record as well as far as sorting goes it's not too different from the table if I want to sort by company name I'll click on a company name and up here in the um, home tab I'll just choose ascending and it just sorts in ascending order or descending we'll put um, the last um, in Z to A order and I can just as easily remove the sort as well so you can easily sort 
you also have the ability to easily search using this button down here. So if I want to search for, say, um, Berlin, um, or if I want to search for London, it looks across the entire, all fields, all records. If I want to look for um, Bigfoot, um, then I just type Bigfoot or Big Cheese is there as well. Um, the only customer is Big Big Cheese and so on and so forth. If I want all the ones from the UK, I just type UK. And um, so that's another way that you can search as well. <clears throat> but you do have the find as well where you can do a find and you can click on a certain country maybe, hit the find, say that you want to find London, find next. And if I move this down, there's the first one, and I'm going to find next, find next, find next, find next, and just move between them all until you ultimately, there's no more. So you can easily do a find, a sort, and you can easily filter. If I want all the ones from the UK, I'll click on UK, go to the selection and say equals UK. And it says here seven records, and it says it's filtered. I can click that to remove the filter, I click it to reapply the filter, and remove it again. Or I might decide I want to go to country and do a find. And I want to find Canada. So I find the first instance of Canada. And then I go to my selection and I go equals Canada. And it's filtered out those three that equal Canada. So I had to find the first instance and then filter. And then I can click this or click this to toggle the filter. Or I could go to advanced and actually clear all filters uh, quite easily. So you can also filter as well as sort. Now when it comes to printing your form, quite simply if I went file, print, and print preview, this is what would print. And it would print out all of the 91 customers and I can move between the pages as such. If I wanted printing the data only, I can tick this option here and it will only print the data and not all the background information, which is very useful sometimes. You can also control landscape um, or portrait and you can print it in columns if you wish. So you might decide actually print it in two columns and there's not enough space for this particular report to do it. Um, it's too wide. Maybe if I try landscape it might be sufficient or not, but it's trying to print it in two columns, which doesn't always work. So I'll put the columns back to one and back to portrait. You've also got the ability to narrow your margins to squeeze more information. So maybe if I go landscape columns and two this time, I might have more success. No, it's still too wide, but it's getting there slowly. You can see the idea. Uh, put it back to one column. And portrait um, and paper size can be controlled in here a4 a5 a2 a1 what have you and you can also zoom and see two pages or more pages like four pages if you want to and if I close print preview if I want to print just the one record then I would go to file I would go to file, but before I do that, I might just reduce this. So I'm just going to hit my restore button up here. All right, so I would go to file, and I would go print, and I would go print, and I would just print the selected record. Unfortunately, you're not going to get a preview. You're just going to be able to choose a selected record and OK, and it would just print that one record. So you would want to actually go into print preview and set your settings, like print data only, and then when you went print, you would ask it to print. Then when you went out of print preview and back to print and asked it to print just the selected record, it would only print the selected record with that format. 